This is called X. Uh, we have three system. These graphics, production asset management interplay, and user system iNews. So we can open the rundown. Yeah, we open the rundown. We will browse to rundown if you want to edit, for example, this one. And with this double click, we will open the rundown. In the center part of the algorithms, we see the content of the rundown and we have a story prepared for this video, for this presentation. The story is called We Aid All Protect Medical Workers. Mm, with this button, we can open the story and close the rundown. With the sequence button, we will open the story in the Cloudurix Media Viewer. We will open the timeline of the sequence. As you can see, the timeline, the sequence is ready for this demo, for this presentation. So we will not demonstrate the video editing parts, only the graphics part. So basically we can trim the video, trim the audio, we can edit uh, the video. Yeah. So. Okay, so... Um, to work with the visual key graphics, I will dock the rundown, the story, to the left part of the CloudUX, and in the middle part of the CloudUX, I will open the TrackerG and its application, which is basically a VizRT connector to the CloudUX, to the Media Central platform. As you can see, there is the Wiz Pilot Edge application opened exactly in the CloudUX user interface, so the users can have the same user experience inside the cloud UX when working with the Wiz Pilot Edge just as they have in the real in the standard Chrome browser. So let's start with the graphic creations. As if you already are familiar with the Pilot Edge then you know that here is a fine graphics tab which is responsible for searching um, for templates. Uh, this is the Pilot Edge application so you can have the exactly the same feature set of the pilot edge in the cloud UX so you can search for templates based on full text you can switch to list view or to grid view you can refresh the content of the pilot edge you can search for templates based on concepts based on text or create sorting based on name or date and of course you have available the most recent data elements created by Pilot Edge or even by ActiveX or by other Viz Content Pilot application. So for now, we will open the first template, which is the Traco intro. So we will create an intro for this sequence. We will edit its title to V80, and as you can see, it gets automatically updated in the Pilot Edge preview window so now my goal is to um, create this graphical element inside the edit timeline currently the preview in the pilot edge is static um, so first of all i need to save the data element with the save button now the data element is saved into the wizard database and now with this plus button i need to push this data element to the Tracker GFX application so the Tracker GFX can work um, with this data element. It can. So uh, we can set the duration of the data element with this field. So, for example, I will um, write number three. So, it meaning that the default timing of this data element will be three seconds. We will use this data element at the current position so what I need to do is to drag and drop this icon into the iNews story by drag and dropping this icon to the iNews story we created a production queue inside the iNews story with the default duration of 3 seconds 
and mm, the graphical element was rendered automatically on the backend. So if I play the sequence from the beginning, then we will see the animation. So the length was 3 seconds based on this value. I will continue creating graphical element. So I will create some lower thirds. I will use this template. Okay, so um, I will find the position for the lower third. Yeah, so from this point, and I will create it so. So you can see the preview of the data element gets automatically displayed in the pilot edge window. So now I will save this to the Wiz database and with this button I will push it to the Tracker GFX application. I will set the I will uh, keep the duration 3 seconds and I will drag and drop this icon to the iNew story. So a new graphical element within the layer pack was automatically created in the Avid timeline with a default duration of 3 seconds but of course if I want to change the duration or create it in another position then I can move this graphical segment or I can change its duration with a simple drag and drop operation. So I will play the sequence from here and I will see the updated preview with the graphical element inside the CloudX Media Player. This is my first lower third and now I will create another lower third. I will save the data element and as always with this button I will push the data element to the tracker GFX. I will set the duration of the data element to 5 seconds for example and I will drag and drop the most elements to the iNew story and as you can see there is a new graphical segment created in the Avid timeline. Of course I can adjust the duration and then I can check it. Okay, so I will continue adding some other graphical elements like Traco Info. This graphical element was created in the layer middle. Um, by the way, the layer names are derived from the wizardy scene, so uh, everything is uh, um, created automatically from the wiz scene. These, the layer names are created, and I will adjust the duration of the data element of the graphical object, and of course, with each modification of the length the data element, the graphical element will be re-rendered. I will use the same data element at this part of the video. I will drag and drop it once more to the iNew story. So the same data element is created on two different places and I will adjust the duration of the data element. So if I play the video from here, then first of all I will see the lower third then afterwards there will be the instruction video. Of course, if I need, I can have multiple graphical elements in a preview. So if I create this adjustment and I click to this position, then you can see we have both the lower third and the data element, the other data element also. Yeah, so if I play it, and there is the first one, and there comes the second one. Animated, the first one disappears, the second remains. 
I will continue with other graphical objects. For example, I will create, I will use a table, it's called a template called Trackle Table, and in this case, I will use an already existing data element. So here is the list of the data elements which are already stored in the list file, the list content pilot. By double clicking it, the data element will be opened in the pilot edge preview window and I can use it directly from here. So the data element is now pushed to the tracker GFX. I will set the duration to, for example, eight seconds. And at the actual position, I will create this production queue. It's created on the back layer and I will play the data element so, so see it animated. So here is the first page and the second page. Okay, to finish my sequence I will add an outro. The Chaco outro. I will create a new for this, push it to tracker GFX, set the duration to two seconds, to three seconds at the current position, and I will drag and drop it to my story. So the outro data element was created. I will play it. that's it. Mm, I can adjust the timing if I'm not happy with that. Yeah, like this. And if I want I can add another graphical element like, like Traco logo 1 I have an existing data element for the logo. I will push it to the tracker GFX, set its duration to, for example, 10 seconds, drag and drop it to the I story. The logo is created in the front layer, and now I will play the sequence from the beginning. So I will check the existence of these data and of these graphical objects. So this is the workflow with the um, pilot edge inside the Cloud UX. The graphical objects are saved on the Nexus workspace and are accessible from every cloud, cloud UX user with the proper user rights. And of course, everything, the whole graphical objects are available also without the tracker, without the open tracker GFX application. So if a user opens uh, this sequence from another machine with this button then the sequence will be automatically opened with the graphical object and he can check or edit the timing. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye bye.